Hey, hey, everybody, it's Eddie from Tokyo. This is your cryptocurrency update from Japan and Bitcoin Nashville is in full swing. I've got a one minute clip on the home view of Bitcoin from BlackRock. And yeah, maybe it's not what you think. Also, more money flowing to John Deaton. Yeah, who has a shocking percentage of his net worth in Bitcoin? I'm not so shocked, actually. I always knew it was his largest holding. And a big AMA, ask me anything, some alpha for you. And XRP made it to the big leagues in the DeFi world. Can't wait to share that. SBI, the largest outside shareholder of Ripple, completed an amazing joint venture. And I'm going to tell you, I've got a place where you don't want to live if you own crypto. Okay, everybody, let's go. I found out from Anidos that the XRPL's AMM total value lock is now being tracked by DeFi Llama. This is the largest DeFi data aggregator. It really shows that the XRP ledger DeFi solution has been accepted by the industry as a big league player. This is what it looks like. And yes, we have a little building to do. Right now, there's a 11.81 million total value locked, but we have no place to go but up. And to enhance that liquidity on the decentralized exchange, the Hummingbot unveiled their new connector to the XRP ledger in their version 2.0 just a couple of days ago. When I tell you that we have no place to go but up, and yes, we've got a lot of building to do, you can see that Ethereum really has the largest share of total value locked at 58 billion. And something that's just coming into the light that occurred back in June is the general counsel to Ripple, Mr. Stuart Alderati. He donated to John Deaton's campaign 300,000 XRP which then was converted to USDC. Eleanor Terrett asked on X, if possibly John Deaton is the biggest holder of Bitcoin of any elected official or candidate, he might be, well, with his final disclosures, it shows around 80% of his net worth is in Bitcoin or Bitcoin related investments. I think he's got a big position in Michael Saylor's MicroStrategy. Yeah, he also owns Ethereum, Solana, and a little bit of XRP. My AMA, Ask Me Anything Alpha, is going to be this really wonderful interview I have with Chihiro Kato. She is the Chief Strategy Officer of SBI XDC. And in our preparation today, I learned how the SBI business unit is delivering solutions for trade finance using the XDC network. This is going to be a really great conversation. It should be uploaded for you early next week. And sticking with SBI for a moment, there's a big announcement. SBI and Franklin Templeton have a joint venture. It was announced today. It is for the purpose of crypto ETFs and other financial products. It's going to be for the Japanese investor. The split of this unit is 51% to the SBI group and 49% to Franklin Templeton. I think Franklin Templeton was a tough negotiator because usually Mr. Kitao gets a 60-40 split. I still can't believe that after all these years, we still have people that are casting shadow on other projects and other tokens. You know, if you don't like it, just don't buy it. When people claim that Bitcoin doesn't have any utility or value, that's just not the case. I mean, it is very famous, of course, being the first blockchain. And I'm very grateful for that because it's paved the way to create this ecosystem. In terms of utility, there's big time yield coming for the holders of Bitcoin through a collateralized, very safe way to earn yield on Flare Networks with F assets. And also it'll be available for XRP. So it's a wonderful DeFi solution. You have a payments value. Coinbase just rolled out the layer two LightSpark, which uses the BTC rails and yes, it works. 
and the financial instrument gosh it's an etf and it's been the success most successful etf ever so that's quite valuable for a lot of people and the innovation and adoption well it has attracted many new participants to the blockchain space with this recent innovative runes where nearly 10 percent right now of all bitcoin trash transactions today are with runes it's not for me to say that if runes is is a waste of time or money people are having fun in this space people are experimenting with their wallets people are experimenting with the technology i i just think that hmm, i, I want to play a one minute clip so those were my kind of big five points of what i think bitcoin does for this space like you know, you can also talk about all the ancillary businesses and ecosystems that it supports uh, which is which quite a lot but if you want to hear the home view from blackrock this is robbie michnik who used to work for ripple he was an intern with ripple and he in this one minute pretty much sums it up for you in a very concise manner the view that blackrock takes for bitcoin have a listen it is itself a risky asset on a standalone basis right but those risks are about uncertainty over future adoption regulation the development of a still early ecosystem right they're very different from banking crises or geopolitical disorder or inflation deficits debt currency debasement all those types of fears and risk factors that exist out there in tradfi world so in fact when you think about bitcoin as an asset that uh, has no counterparty, isn't dependent on any one country's fortunes, and is uh, ultimately a scarce asset, that's why you've started to see this shift where people look at Bitcoin as a potential flight to safety asset in some of these other dynamics. So when people use this risk on, risk off framework, all that nuance gets lost. And I think that nuance is really important. And what do we have here? It's a submitted request for a tax reform regarding cryptocurrencies, FY 2025, to the government. And that would be to the Japanese government. Let me show you why. The crypto asset top tax rate for Japan is 55%. Crazy, right? And if we look at the list, you can see Germany is at zero. Someone did leave a comment that said that it's zero only if you hold for the initial 12 months. So you have to um, hang on to that asset. You can't sell it for 12 months. South Korea is zero. They are going to change, however. They've got a revision coming of 20% in 2025. Then uh, third on the list is England. Uh, Igirisu, as it is said in Japanese, it is 20%. Then you have Australia, 22.5%, followed by Italy at 26%, France at 30%, America at 33%. It has a little note that it is California that has the highest when we talk about per states. And Canada is at 39.5%, with Ontario being the highest top tax rate. In the XRP community, we have Tori West that has qualified to compete in the Paris Olympics. So yeah, keep your eye out for that. And I don't know if you've seen these uniforms uh, that have been designed by each country. Wow, what a wide range of style. This is Japan. I don't know. It's nothing special, I don't think. It looks like maybe you're going to go bowling. This is Team Estonia, and here's the Czech Republic. I don't, USA looks just like you would think it would look like. This is a wow, Team Haiti. And for me, my favorite is Mongolia. It looks like something out of an ancient aristocratic society. All right, everybody, do take care. Sayonara for now. Bye-bye.